English borrows a lot of words coming from other languages or foreign languages. And these words, when borrowed the English, are now called as loan words. Now, these loan words might have the same pronunciation from their origin or might have a different pronunciation and sometimes even meaning. Hi, this is Borge from English with Ms. Borge. Are you familiar with loan words? Let's talk about them today. Usually when words are borrowed, there is a difference in pronunciation. Although there are some instances when the pronunciation of these loan words stays the same or remains the same. It might be confusing, especially if you're familiar with their origin language. You might be confused how you would pronounce the words. So let's go through some words in English which are actually borrowed or which are actually loan words and talk about their pronunciation. Also, after I pronounce each word, let's hear native English speakers using these words in sentences for me to help you as well. All right, first word. This word is from Japanese. Since I am not a native speaker of these languages, I think I won't attempt to pronounce them in their original pronunciation. First word is karaoke. Again, you pronounce that as karaoke. Imagine that there is letter Y between A and O. So you have to say karaoke. We have karaoke salons and all sorts of different ways um, that they can show the community what they're doing. What's your go-to karaoke song? You can count on me. I love that song. I cannot wait until that song comes to karaoke. Rock. In fact, so that was taken at a karaoke. Second word, we have this term, magna, which is commonly seen in magna cum laude or magna cum laude. This word magna is originally a Latin word and this gave a lot of confusion to viewers of one of my videos in this channel. So they are confused. Why are so many people pronouncing it as mania, especially here in the Philippines? And that's because of this. This word actually comes from Latin and when it's Latin or when you're using Latin language, you have to pronounce this word as mania and not magna. But if you're speaking in English, and when you're using this one in an English sentence, you have to say magna and not mania. Merrick graduated magna cum laude from Harvard Law. President Young graduated magna cum laude from Harvard Law School and has enjoyed broad experience across legal, public service, and diplomatic arenas. Braun graduated magna cum laude from Brown University and was one of the first 10 World Economic Forum Global Shapers. I graduated magna cum laude from Harvard that's supposed to mean something. Next word is guru. Guru is usually a person who is an expert or who masters a certain field or a certain thing. Here's our meteorite guru, Mr. John Larson. I love marketing guru Seth Godin's definition of a brand the most. He is a productivity guru. Authors at Google is happy to welcome grammar guru Mignon Fagardi. I don't even know what a mindful, loving guru is. And by, you know, following each other, nobody's, there's no guru here. Yes. I think we all get to keep learning from each other. This next word is originally a French word. It is pronounced as entrepreneur. Again, entrepreneur. What makes this word very confusing is he think the very first syllable. We see there E-N, but we're saying on, on, entre, pro. And then instead of saying pre, we have to say pra. The last syllable is nor, entrepreneur. You see yourself an entrepreneur? And now I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an investor. And that statement is really what makes a great entrepreneur. Next word is boondocks. Again, boondocks. Well, I kind of know this one because this is from Tagalog dictionary. This is boondock originally. So from boondock, it becomes boondocks when it's in English dictionary. For this word, I can say that there's a difference not just in pronunciation, but also in meaning because in Tagalog, boondocks is just a mountain. Whereas in English, boondocks are these areas where they are undeveloped or remote. I'm in, is out in the boondocks and uh, 
dirt floors. Daughter said, Dad, why do we always end up in the boondocks? It was way in the boondocks down there, you know? And he took a train all the way to the East Coast. If you live out is out in the boondocks where we live, you've got to travel a good amount of ways. So why not just build one? At the intersection of backwoods and boondocks, simple sanctuaries began to emerge. Next word, I've seen some video clips of Japanese people pronouncing this word as sushi. If there are Japanese speakers or if there are learners there who are studying Japanese language, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think I'm hearing sushi without an H. But in English, we're pronouncing or we're saying this word as sushi. Again, that's sushi. And if we show the whole world that you can make gourmet sushi just using stuff in your backyard. The bluefin are hunted for sashimi, sushi, and tuna steaks. I think we could do Thai, here's the menu, link. Or we could do sushi, here's the menu, link. For example, the favorite fish for sushi and sashimi that sushi craze sort of took place and, and began. Uh, but I do know a lot of uh, chefs, sushi chefs in particular, are very upset about it because it does, it's not going to leave a very, you know, strong flavor. Next word, this also gives confusion to English language learners because when we pronounce this word, we kind of shop all of the letters. We say genre. Again, genre. The letter G there is not sound as G, but J, J, and then Jean, Jean, and then Ra, genre. This is coming from Yiddish language. Some claim that this is actually coming from French, and I've seen another language. It says that it originally comes from Yiddish, which is another language spoken in Europe. Will be. Yes, that renegade genre-defining musician joins us today. In fact, this, this song is situated in a genre. It's situated in performance practices of theater. Reading a big sci-fi book, not my usual go-to genre. As a literary genre, satire is one of the oldest. By trends, the success of one film or genre inspires others to jump on the bandwagon. Driving while black is its own genre of experience. Next word. Since I kind of study Korean, I know that this one has really different pronunciation in English. Because in Korean, they say Taekwondo. Again, Taekwondo. Correct me if my pronunciation is wrong. In English, we say Thai. Taekwondo. So the very difference there is the first syllable. They're saying Te, whereas in English, we're saying Thai. Taekwondo. They had a 64-man armed platoon trained in Taekwondo. They had three B-52 bombers circling around overhead. I do have a, a Taekwondo background. So I'm a black belt Taekwondo, basketball, boxing, everything. I would defend myself if it came down to it. As my Taekwondo master told me, Taekwondo should only be used in the form of defense. We have soccer four nights a week, Taekwondo two nights a week. My older son is in violin quartet. And From Taekwondo to the terrifying but so so exciting. I teach a mix between um, Taekwondo, boxing, and pure self defense techniques. Another word coming from French is croissant. Again, cru, cru, zant. You make that kind of the Z sound, but not totally because it has two S's. Again, that's croissant. I actually had a croissant craving and I was walking to a little French bakery. Last year, I had a life-changing carb craving. Specifically, I wanted a croissant. Which can only be delivered by these cakey cookie bread bun rock croissant snack clumps. Cronut is a cross between a croissant and a donut. I especially love it when there is a decaf Americano and a croissant at the end of it. It's like a croissant made of egg instead of wheat. Certainly healthier for me in that respect. Last word. This is another word from Yiddish language. It's bagel. Bagel. After my research, I found out that the original pronunciation of this word is actually something like bagel. It sounds like that. The, the main difference is again the first syllable. In English, we're saying bay in its original pronunciation. It's pronounced as by, bagel and bagel. Learn the art of cake decorating, Russian pancake making, and bagel baking. For example, if you're used to eating um, toast with jam for breakfast, or bagel, or muffin. Half a bagel in the morning, or a muffin. If you want to know how your bagel is made, they'll let you behind the counter 
at the uh, bakery or deli. And that's it for today. I hope this video has been helpful. Click like if you think this video has helped you. Share this with other learners if you find this informative. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And as always, dream and make your dream happen. I'll see you next time. Bye!